Hello there, this is James, your Director of Product Support here at Cliently, and in this video we'll be discussing Cliently flows and how we could use those inside of your account and add information such as emails and video messages and send them out to your individual clients. This article is found on our FAQ.Cliently.com or in a link in the description box below this video. So what are our Cliently flows? A flow is a list of items upon actions for a marketing campaign that we process sent to your Cliently contacts. An example of this is an email, we wait one day, we send a video message, we wait two more days, and then we maybe send out a postcard. What does a typical flow look like? You, what we do recommend is that you space out your flow actions so we do not rapid fire your prospect with salesy messages. We want to customize and customize some more. Take advantage of your emails, video message options, and combine with tokens or ways to autofill your contacts information so you don't have to manually change this for every single flow that you have. Uh, we also we recommend we start out with the email, video messages, and then maybe end with postcard, tasks, or gifts, depending on how you want your marketing campaign to be processed. With this, we also have the ability to schedule flows based upon it does exclude U.S. holidays. We have process actions on specific days of the week and, of course, hours throughout the day. And we'll talk about that with our scheduling option. And we have the ability to lock down a flow so it can only be seen by you, owners and admins of the account. So let's say if you have multiple team members, you don't want to uh, share those flows across each other. You definitely want to um, uh, lock them down so only those specific users can use those. One thing we do recommend is that you do get your email integration up and running first. If you have not done that, please go ahead and do that first. So let's go ahead and log in and start creating a flow. Now there's quite a bit of information here with flows, and all this can be found in the FAQ of a step-by-step. -step. I'm not necessarily going to go through all this in, the, in this video today, but just to do a high-level overview. So let's go ahead and log in cliently. Here we are. Let's go over here on the left-hand side. Let's click on flows. So here's our, our UI or layout of our flows here. Uh, over here on the left-hand side is are all the existing flows that you have inside of your system. Here is here you have the ability to uh, lock or uh, lock down a private flow if you want to do that. Inside of here, we can get access to our different options or settings, and we'll go and talk about those real quickly here. And then we also have the ability to enable or pause this workflow. And this is something that you have to remember is that if you want to are ready to use this, this must be enabled to the on position in order to use them for your contacts or when you're purchasing leads and so forth. So let's go ahead and down to the bottom here and just click on New Flow. So the new flow, what you want to do is go and give it a name or a specific name, but maybe what these actions entail, or as long as you have an understanding of what this campaign is all, flow is all about. We also have stock workflow engagement options that you could use to check that, for example, if you want any of your emails or video messages, if people replies back or you engage them, or if they bounce, or if they auto replies, it will turn off that flow automatically so it no longer continue with that individual contact. Along with that, we also have phone call tasks as well that you, we have a couple uh, call dispositions that you could use, for example, demo booked and not interested, and if those are selected, those will also turn off that flow. We do have unsubscribe options as well. This is something I do recommend that you have available set up for every flow, especially if you send out emails and videos, as your clients uh, should have ability in a way to unsubscribe from your, uh, your campaign if they no longer wish to receive any emails. We go uh, below that is our new scheduling option that we have, where here you can choose your time zone. You can exclude U.S. holidays, for example, if you didn't want to send them out on July 4th or future holidays that we have. We also have scheduled days, so any of your actions will be sent or processed. For example, I never want to send stuff out on Saturday or Sunday. I just want to send them through my normal work week. And then finally, we also have the ability to set up a scheduled time from a begin time to an end time. And these, of course, when emails will be processed out. So I always choose for something like from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Um, so, you know, when my emails are designed or, or designated to go out, they are only go out at that specific time so they can show up in my uh, client's inbox right away in the morning. All right. So we're going to cancel out of this here. So here's an example of a, a, of a flow that I have here. And I start off with the email, and I'm waiting two days, and then starting off with the video message, and then maybe doing a follow-up with a phone call. You know, with this, we do have many different actions that you could do here, including emails and video messages. As part of our direct mail option, we do have notes and postcards that we could set up as well. 
We also have time delays. This is something I already recommended that we that you do to help space out your messages. We also have tasks or manual tasks to help you reminder for certain types of things. And include with inside, inside of that is LinkedIn options or that phone call task and other tasks as well. And then finally, our last option here is our gifting option that you can include if you want to send the gift uh, with an individual um, personalized message and a gift card as well. So let's go and talk about email real quickly. So here you notice that we have our from line where our subject is going to. We do have our editor here and we have different options for fonts and sizes and bolds, italics, underlines, and different colors as well. Uh, we have alignment options. We have both number points and bullet points. We could also hyperlink individual, uh, for example, things like here, for example. We also have ability to insert images, which is absolutely fantastic if you want to do things like that as well. And of course, we also have the ability in order to add in or use tokens. And this is an example of a token right here uh, that you could use um, to automatically insert a person's name, for example. And this is something that I really, really recommend that you do is because you don't have to manually set up these flows or these um, you know campaigns specific for an individual person. You can set, kind of set up a template and then when that flow is then used, of course, for your individual contact, it will automatically populate that person's information based upon what you have for your contact. All right, so this that's an email. So here's another video message here with our video message option. We do have the ability to upload and uh, record your own message if you have a web camera on your computer or laptop, and also with an individual message that's associated with that as well. Here's an example of a quick phone call that I do have set up. Uh, which you can put into call subject and call notes and then when this uh, phone call is due as part of your campaign you're going to receive a message inside of your cliently account to go ahead and put, complete that individual phone call and like I said we do have other options well like I said with handwritten notes and postcards and gifts and all that is found inside of faq.cliently.com as well all right, then last thing before we head out from flows here is that you notice here at the top of the screen, we also have some analytical options as well. And these are really helpful um, to give you some information of when uh, emails have been sent out, if they're engaged and whatnot. And then also down here at the bottom here, we have individual analytics are associated with our emails. And if you go with your video message as well, you'll have more um, information. So you'll know when they've been replied, when the video or message has been opened, when the video has been clicked, played, auto-replied, bounced, and unsubbed all as well as part of that too. All right. So once we have our flows and all set, you know, what we really recommend that you do is go ahead and create yourself a test uh, contact of yourself. And then over here on the right hand side, this is how we could choose to use our existing flows that we have. Remember, that flow needs to be enabled before it shows up in this list. And once you go to choose that flow, your information will show up here. We also have the ability to go into the individual settings if you want to. And we do have those scheduling options. Excuse me there. We do have those scheduling options that you could set up here as well as for these specific flows. But if you're all ready to rock and roll, all that you need to do is go and click on that on position to start the flow. And then we do have this option is available if you want to start this flow now or you can set this uh, for a future date in the, uh, as well. I'm going to click on Enable Flow here, give it a couple seconds here, it's going to get in process one, and in turn it should process my individual, uh, this first email, here it is, my email has been sent out, and my flow has begun. So like I said, you know, our flow options inside Cliently is very, very powerful. Lots of different options and availability depends on how you want to con use, you know, our system in order to send out your marketing campaigns to your clients. Uh, we do have a lot of great options, part of our onboarding process as well. So if you do have any uh, additional questions or concerns going forward or how to use flows or really any part of our system, please contact us, reach out to us by using this red help button right here down on the right bottom of your screen inside of your account and we'll do our very best to take care of each and every one of you. We thank you so much, and you all have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.